Hello folks, it's been a while, hasn't it? It's been two months. And you're probably going to be saying... That sounded a lot weirder than I expected. <laughs> I love you all so, so much. And the support recently has been absolutely amazing. Yeah, let's start the video before I get even more boring. Welcome to my glorious dungeon. It's very wonderful here, you know. I love living here. It's absolutely amazing. We've even got a strip club right over there. And that's why I'm so excited. Hello, Judy. How are you doing? Yeah. Five pound, I'll give it to you later, right? I owe you. I owe you one. Sorry, folks. I got a little bit distracted with Judy there, you know? I had to owe her a few favours. And you know exactly what favours they are. Today, we're going to be talking about Colleen Belinger. And don't ask me how to pronounce that name, because I don't even know. She recently made a video addressing everything. And now, what do we mean by everything? I don't even know. She may be turning into a prostitute. I don't know. All right, please don't say she's going to turn into a prostitute. We've already got enough of those on bloody YouTube as it is. Isn't it weird how many YouTubers have been exposed for stuff in their past? For example, Keemstar. Him saying quite the unpleasant N-word on camera when he was gaming. Years and years ago this was. But it still got brought up and it nearly ruined his own career. Let's talk about Shane Dawson, for example. Shane Dawson seems to have a really bad start at this because apparently Shagging Cats is what he's into. I don't understand the logic myself because I'm not into bestiality, but you go Shane, you do whatever you want to do. It's your life at the end of the day. Just don't get me involved in shagging cats, that's all. Alright, alright? Hey guys, I know this is not my typical video that you are used to seeing, but recently some things have come up that I feel like I need to address, and so I just wanted to sit down and have an honest conversation with you and address everything at once. So let's get started. The first thing I want to talk about is something that is weighing the heaviest on my heart right now. A video has resurfaced of my sister and I from 14 years ago. Uh, we are teenagers, and in this video we are doing characters that are Latino. Now this is where I think everybody is going over the top about this. Who cares what you did as a teenager compared to what you do as an adult? Things change, people make mistakes. I mean, I've made a fair share of mistakes through my teenage years and I keep on making them. So stop acting like you are so perfect and you don't make mistakes online because that that doesn't happen. And the characters are completely based on racial stereotypes. It is not funny and it is completely hurtful. I am so ashamed and embarrassed that I ever thought this was okay. I was a sheltered teenager who was stupid and ignorant and clearly extremely culturally insensitive. That's the thing folks, people grow up so stop bringing up the past, yeah? I know people are gonna bring up the situation between, yeah, me and uh, a few people, let's just say. Um, me get exposed a few times on YouTube for the most ridiculous things. I used to be the YouTuber that criticizes everything in someone's video, but I am actually trying to change my content now. So I want to agree and disagree with both sides of the argument. So basically we can make this a fair video. Racial stereotypes are not funny. They are not a joke and they should never be joked about. A few years later we realized how stupid and hurtful the video was and we deleted it. Not out of fear of getting caught, but out of fear that someone would find it and it would hurt them because it's wrong. I have grown and learned so much from my ignorant mistakes as a teenager and I've done everything I can to right my wrongs. Now this video was brought to light right after I had posted a video on my vlog channel last week with my friend Todrick talking about racism and how it is still very much a problem in our world today and how we need to fight against it. People were saying, how dare I talk about racism when I said these things 14 years ago. Look all these big YouTubers, Jeffree Star, Keemstar. Okay, that sounded really fucking weird for a second. Jeffree Star, Keemstar, Trisha Paytas and all these big ass YouTubers. They've most probably been exposed for being racist in the past. And we all know Jeffree Star has definitely been racist in the past. But everybody changes. Everybody changes throughout their career. They become more mature. They know what hurts people and what doesn't hurt people. You know what I'm saying? Let's go straight back into the video before this turns onto a full-on rant about homophobia, racism, and my lack of hair. Yeah, I really should have not brought this out, should I? I wish I was wearing my beanie again. 
And to you I say, that is the exact reason why I should be talking about racism and why I should be standing up against it, because I was one of the dumb ones who said that stupid thing and grew from it and learned from it and realized how hurtful it could be, and now I want to right my wrongs and make a difference so that other people don't make the same mistakes that I made when I was a kid. Homophobic and all those type of things were definitely on the internet in 2007 to 2010 on YouTube. One hundred percent. I know that, because... There was no filter on YouTube back then. You could say whatever you wanted and you wouldn't even get sued for it. Another video popped up recently that I want to address and it's a video that I filmed 12 years ago where I talk about taking a flight and an overweight woman sat next to me and I talk really negatively about her and it's awful. And I watched this clip and I was appalled and shocked that those things were coming out of my mouth 12 years ago because that is not the woman who I am today. I'm such a huge advocate for women and women's bodies and loving every shape and every size and the fact that I talked negatively about someone who was overweight is absolutely disgusting to me. I'm not gonna lie, I probably do the same. I use my humor if I have any humour, to relieve my pain. Because these days, folks, I don't think I'm gonna get in a relationship with arms like this, or my weight like this. I, I'm being, I'm being 100% here. She has a channel called Miranda Sings, which I think is in 2008 that she created it. Yeah, I think, yeah, 2008. 2020 minus the 2008 leaves you with 12, so that tells you the channel is 12 years old. Minus the 12 from her age, which is 33, minus the 12, and that gives you the age of how old she was when she first started YouTube. She was 21. So at the age of 21, you should know what's right and wrong to put up online. But, unfortunately, we all had different viewpoints back then, so you could have been racist back then, and now you could be, you know, not racist, if that makes sense. You could have been biphobic or homophobic back then and now you might be gay or bisexual whatever it is whatever sexuality you know but yeah at the end of the day everyone changes things happen i've done the math and colleen i think you should have uh thought twice about what you were uploading because you were 21 yeah 21 years old i'm gonna become a better version of drama alert yes believe it or not but the difference between me and Drama Alert is I'm actually going to be given reasons of agreeing and reasons for disagreeing. So, yeah, we don't have an actual opinion of if we agree or disagree. So, yeah, that's way better in Drama Alert, isn't it? Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Please, please comment something stupid down below, like my weight or something. Make fun of it anyway. I don't give a shit, but I will laugh with you as well. Anyway, peace out, stay awesome. No, actually, that's the old outro. Um, I shall see you guys in the next video. Hashtag Stevo Army. Stevo Clan. No, that's 2017. For <laughs> God's sake, man. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Trying to protect your soul. We are heroes tonight. And